Hello and welcome to another episode of my cryptocurrency series. Many of you asked me to talk about something like Axie Infinity or Monster Infinite or something that's a monster type of game on blockchain. So I'm doing what you wish. I'm going to talk about Player Monster or Player Mon. And this is going to be on Polygon. It's going to launch uh, on Friday. So it's something that you can get hands into it when it's cheap. It's not something that's on a uh, billion market cap or hundreds of million dollars. You can start investing early and grow with the project and be one of the scholars maybe in the future. Anything I provide here is not financial advice, so please do your own research. I'm going to put a link down to the YouTube channel, to the social media for PlayerMon, and anything that you need to do your own research before making any purchase. Now let's get into it. So the inspiration for this project actually came from the team when um, they have interest in Pokemon, they have interest in other uh, play to end games that's more based on monsters and Animal Crossing. So in May 2021, they actually came with this idea and they're fascinated with the idea of game finance. The key difference the game has with a lot of traditional games and other blockchain games, it has a comprehensive list of activities you can do. You can do quests, you can do uh, different game modes to earn rewards, you can upgrade and breed your pets, you can sell and lease the NFTs, collect rare player modes, you can do farming, you have social interaction, and you can launch mini games. The main key point for me that I'm very interested in is they're launching on Polygon Network, so you won't have to deal with expensive gas fee. And it's the first game in this genre or category with this much interest to come on Polygon. So you all know Polygon is my favorite network. So of course, PlayerMon is going to be my favorite game. Now, in terms of gameplay, they have different uh, descriptions on the white paper you can refer to, but basically the storyline is in Ar Arcoland, and you as a player um, get an SOS signal from a distant planet from your spaceship as a bounty hunter. And, you know, long story short, they have player mons that they have a wild player mons that they're attacking. And then they have rebels that are part of the mining company. You can read the whole story, but this is the quest mode or the story mode. Then they have a tower of creator. And over there is where the battles happen between diff different player mons. So the matchmaking ranking game, basically. And then you've got the marketplace. And in the marketplace, you can lease your player mons, you can trade them, purchase eggs, blind boxes, and different activities. So there's, there's everything that's happening on Axie Infinity is over here, plus much more, actually. Now, in terms of um, more gaming interaction, I'm using the um, pitch deck. And there's nothing secret here, by the way, if you are interested to know. It's just that I'm very impressed actually on how they've used this pitch deck. It's probably one of the best ones I've seen in, in the blockchain industry. So as you can see, they have battle, they have breeding, they have planet gameplay and transaction tax. They've got these different types of player modes. At the moment, they've got four representing different parts of the uh, planet. That's the gameplay when you have to feed or pet basically your player bone and grow them. This is the demo of the battle. You could go to the YouTube channel and actually see the gameplay. I cannot play the whole thing because obviously they have copyright, but I can quickly show you maybe how it works. So you can see they have three player modes playing against three other player modes. And then depending on the location you put them, how strategic you use the location, you're going to win against your enemy. And it could be another player or it could be AI. And you have different cards as well that could boost your power. Whoever wins the battle is going to get some gems and you can use the gems in, in the game for other activities. Make sure you also go to the YouTube to get more information. Now, the other parts I'm interested to look at is the token utility. So in terms of the tokenomics and token utility, um, let's go to the token utility. There's two types of token. So they have the player mon token and player mon token can be used for governance. If you're a token holder, you can use it and stake it and do voting. You can use it for in-game payment method. So players can purchase the eggs or player mons in the marketplace. You can upgrade and breed your player mon. And there's a very nice slide actually that I would like to share with you about how you can use it. So let's say you're a new player. To get started, you need to have the player mon token and purchase the player mon and breed them. And then complete some uh, series to get SGEM tokens. And you can use player tokens or SGEM tokens to breed and buy game assets. And then a player, you can use uh, these tokens to list the game asset in the marketplace. 
some of that SGM token is the transaction fee to support the burning mechanism of the game and the rest comes to you. And the player also use the PYM or play on token to upgrade those space spaces. So there's a cycle happening here and there's more information. So if you have player mode, you buy the eggs, you can buy and craft and upgrade the items. You can mint creator design assets and the eggs are used for the scholarship for other players. You can sell the monsters in the trade hub and you can sell the items in the trade hub as well. And that's how you get the S gems. And you can use the S gems as well by basically upgrading and breeding your player monster. You can craft items, purchase non-NFT in-game items or NFT in-game items, or you can convert it to the player mode. And you can also earn this S gem basically by defeating boss in games when you do the uh, game. And remember the game is turn-based. So that's also something to note. Completing daily quests or competing on the player versus enemy or player versus uh, player. So this is the token utility. In terms of the token economy, I'm also going to reach the page for you. So they have a 1 billion tokens. There's going to be 200 million for staking reward. That's a huge amount for community. Player earning, which is the main uh, P2E mechanism, is 200 million, 20%. 18% of the token is for the team. 7% for advisor, ecosystem, fund management, community management, so more rewards. And 15% has been for pre-seed, private sale, you know, raising funds to develop the game. 10% for liquidity, 10% for the treasury. Now, in terms of the initial market cap, it's going to have only 20 million or 2% with a small market cap of around 800,000 USDT. And if you look at the token price, so the seed obviously is cheaper at um, one cent but they have smaller release and they have to wait for a longer period and they, they, they are a smaller allocation, whereas the private one is 10% release, a little bit more, and they are 50% more expensive than the private, uh, than the seed round. And then the private two is two and a half X higher than the seed round, but they get higher release again and shorter vesting. And if you're part of the launch pad, of course it's higher price. First month you're locked for, 50% and you get 50% on the token generation event. So they are actually pretty fair because the seed is only four times higher. I've seen much more um, aggressive investment happening in other projects. I think this is good and this makes me feel comfortable in terms of where I'm investing. And they have, the, they have a good vesting period as well. And the, the token lock for the team is also reassuring. So in terms of the roadmap, you can see on the website, but here as well. So the ideation came in May, the tokenomics came in August. At the moment, uh, they were busy with the whitelisting for pre-seed and private investment and having their social media and game teaser set up. In October, they had the alpha release for the game and you had a lot of uh, engagement with the community. Now we are in November, public sale is happening. And then the X sale and game launch is happening in December. So there's a lot of events happening in November and December. You can also see a more um, detailed roadmap on their own website, if you want. So post going on launch, they're gonna have the Anchor Land launch on the January, the story mode expansion and the tower creator. So all those activities I described, they're gonna be launched in the Q1 of 2022. And then in Q2, they're gonna start focusing on the marketplace, planet sale, planet staking, and the governance. So there's a lot happening and most of them is happening in the next three to six months. So it's not something you're investing and you're hoping in two years that you can actually start playing the game. Again, that's something reassuring. Now, I would also like to talk about the team and backers. So you can research the team um, on the marketplace or you could research the team um, on white paper. I have actually started looking at some of the team members. So G, I think hopefully I'm pronouncing the name right. He's the co-founder and he's actually part of the Malaysia Blockchain Association. So he has the right blockchain background and he's been in other projects before as a de developer. Joseph is also the other founder and he has more of a 3D artist background, which is what you need for this sort of uh, project. They've got uh, Shoshat, um, the founder of Altcoin Boss. He's well connected to different projects like Engine Starter and 
it's good to have him because that's going to give more visibility to this project. He's a very respected person in, in the community. Kishore also is a respected investor and it's good to have him in this project. Julian is also someone who's experienced in art and uh, AAA gaming. There's a lot of people actually that you can search. There's a big team behind it, uh, Lester, which he's in a lot of gaming projects. Uh, again, Julian, art director for uh, a lot of gaming projects. They have uh, Nick Creation actually. So Nick Creation, he's a very good uh, YouTuber on gaming, Monster Infinite, Axie Infinity, uh, League of Ancients that's coming soon. I might do a video on that as well in the future. And also he has a lot of explanation for player monster. So they have a very good team setup that has all the right people. They have good um, KOL support. They have the good uh, art director people. They have good people in blockchain background and they've got good launch pads. Again, that gives me the reassurance. They've also got good backers. So they've got Polygon as a backer. They've got Rosian Finance, Game Station, Engine Starter, Oxpool, Polka Bridge, and they've got um, very good backers, basically. They've got also the Axie to You scholarship group from Malaysia. So that means they, they, they will have that experience as well. They can utilize that experience and make it better for this game. They also have a lot of community events, and you can even see how they care about the community, and they have the community even in their pitch deck. That's great to see. Now, next thing I want to talk about is their social media. So they've got 29,000 or around 30,000 right now active in the Telegram group. They've got 10,000 people on the Discord channel. They've got around 35,000 on the PlayerMon group on uh, Twitter. And they have a lot of events coming. So they have Excel, for example, happening. They've got uh, IDEO news. So, oh, and they had a coin market cap airdrop actually. So they've got a lot of things right now happening and it's great to see because some projects might not focus too much on the social media part, but they actively engage. And I was in the channel, I can see they're not bots. They're actually real people engaging and really passionate about the project. They also have a very good subscription number in YouTube for a gaming project as well as Instagram. Now, the next thing is, if you are part of the launch pads, you probably want to know when the launch is. So they're going to launch on Oxpool on the 19th. I don't know much about Oxpool, so I'm not going to talk about that a lot. They're going to launch on Engine Starter, which is my favorite launch pad for games. It's going to be on the 19th of November. And you can refer to my older videos on the way launch pads do the allocation for Engine Starter. But basically, there's going to be around 100,000 uh, BUSD worth of PlayerMon to be distributed among the engine starter holders. Make sure you come to launchpad.enginestarter.com if you're one of the holders to participate in this IDEO on the 19th. You don't want to miss it. And they're also going to have it on Polka Bridge. So if you're having Polka Bridge tokens, you could uh, participate. But this one is a first come, first serve. PlayerMon Private on, on the 18th, 2 p.m. UTC. This one is on Polygon Network. Engine starter one is on the um, Binance chain, but you will receive your tokens on Polygon. So that's for your uh, peace of mind that you don't need to worry. You will not go to a different um, blockchain to receive your token. Now, in terms of market sentiment, which is the last part I want to talk about, the market is not doing really well this couple of days with Bitcoin and Ethereum going down. But Overall, that was expected with the leverage um, trading that's happening and the huge FOMO from the retail investor and institutional. I'm not too worried. I'm still thinking we are in a good time for the market. But even, even let's say the market's crashing, I wouldn't care because I am in gaming and metaverse. And I think in 2022, there's going to be an explosion for this. I think there are going to be a lot of gaming and metaverse projects coming on the top. And... Axie Infinity was one of them. So Axie Infinity was, I don't know, a few cents or 12 cents last year. And now it's $134. All-time high was, I think, $150 or $160. And if you see the year to date, this is when they grow. And they actually grow when everything else was going down in the market. And to be fair, Axie Infinity was one of the reasons a lot of gaming projects that were becoming um, more of a dead coin because of the market crash started pumping back up. So that's just a story for you to see how much potential games can have. The same happened with Monster Infinite. 
that's more of a Binance version. And to be fair, I, I prefer Playmon in terms of the graphics and gameplay, but they're already, I think, 20x or 25x from their initial market cap. Of course, Axie is 1000x, I think, so I'm not going to talk about uh, that, but who knows, maybe in a year or two, we're going to talk about Playmon and how they reached it. The main thing is that I want you to participate in this project if you're interested in blockchain gaming because it's early and i would like you to hold the token not just participate in this project not just participate and try to buy and sell and trade because as you see in the roadmap there's a lot of potential happening and i also want you to get involved in the game because this is a play to earn game this is something that if you missed out on the boat of axie infinity this is like a second chance for you so hope you like this video please make sure you like you subscribe, you put comments in my channel because that's how I can get support from you and grow my videos and do more and more for you. There's a lot of videos coming in my pipeline. And in my last thought is that I am very interested in this project, 19th of um, this month, which is in a few days is an exciting time for me because it's the IDO. And a few hours after that, they're gonna have the token generation event on QuickSwap and on other uh, centralized exchanges make sure you follow this and i'm going to put the links down in the description i'll also put a link on the coin market uh, cap cmc airdrop so you can participate thanks for watching this video and see you next time